As a member of the Precast Pre-Stressed Concrete Institute, you are able to participate in PCI committees. Today, we will review how to initiate an in-person meeting ballot for a committee. First, you will need to go to www.pci.org and sign in. Click the Sign In button near the top right corner of the screen. Next, enter your username and password. Your username is your email address. If you cannot remember your password, click Forgot Password to have a password reset email sent to you. After signing in, you will see the Members Only page. Please click Committee Central. Next, you will need to sign into your Committee Central account. Your username is your email. If you don't remember your password, please click Forgot Password. If you're new to Committee Central or have not signed in in a while, you may need to create an account or update your password. If you need the registration code, please email membership at pci.org. After signing in, you will be taken to the committee directory. Please scroll down to the committee you are trying to initiate a meeting ballot for and click on the name. On your committee page, you will see a listing of web ballots and meeting ballots. To create a meeting ballot, please click Initiate New Meeting Ballot. If you do not see this option, make sure that any previous meeting ballots have been closed. The meeting ballot will open up. To start the ballot, enter a name under Ballot Session and then click Update. To add a ballot question, click Add Ballot Question. Please enter your ballot question under Open for Voting. Please note you may only enter one ballot question per ballot for an in-person meeting ballot. You will have to create a new ballot in order to vote on a second question in an in-person meeting ballot. After entering your ballot question, click Open for Voting. You will now see a list of members on the committee along with the ability to mark how they voted on the ballot question. After recording their vote for the question, please click Update Votes to record them in Committee Central. After all votes have been recorded, click Close to close the ballot. Remember, you will not be able to initiate a new meeting ballot until the current one is closed. You will receive a warning about closing the ballot. Please click OK to close the ballot. After closing the ballot item, you will need to close the ballot in order to start a new meeting ballot. Click Close at the top of the section. If you want to review previous in-person meeting ballots and their results, click Manage in the Meeting Ballot section. On the next page, click on the title of the closed ballot you would like to review. Congratulations on successfully running an in-person meeting ballot. Find more instructional videos on the PCI Member Resources page and PCI YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and remember to visit PCI.org and sign up to receive communications to be notified of the latest industry news.